G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video we're going to look at um, HTTP redirects. So uh, I'm going to just create a new multi-device application and it's going to be blank. And what we're going to do is we're going to download this page. Now this content, um, basically this is easy to work out. This is an Office ID and basically I've wrote some application code to um, parse this page and scrape information from it but I had office IDs not the full URL but this redirects automatically to that page so really all we need is this much so this bit is always constant and we can vary the office ID but uh, in this instance we'll only just use the, the partial URL ignoring this extra bit. So I'm going to use an indie HTTP uh, client and we could use so there's the um, net HTTP client and request but I'm going to use indie in this instance. This is just what I happen to choose. We'll throw the page into a memo And we'll throw a button on just to get the page. So often oops, we can just do something like that, uh, but this fails to work unfortunately. because we get a uh, page has been moved moved permanently. Um, and that's a, a 301's a HTTP redirect, which is okay, uh, because on the uh, indie client, we can say handle redirects. And if we run that again, and click the button, We get this connection closed gracefully. So this is the um, web server terminating the connection at, 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 at its end. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but um, I'm not a, not a HTTP protocol expert. But basically, uh, the ND client throws this error if the server terminates the connection at its end. So we're going to do a, a try accept. Oops. Try not to press uh, page down and actually let's copy that. Now, what we need to do is pass in a stream uh, to our get request. And I'm just going to use a, a string stream because it's be uh, nice and simple. Um, Create it and get rid of this. Grab the uh, string contents and and yes, absolutely. I should be using a try finally. And but I'm not going to because I'm lazy. So the response code is the response code back from the web server, and I'm going to say if it's not 200. We're going to raise an exception and so uh, and so this get request will fill this stream with the contents of the web page and if it's not successful uh, we raise exception otherwise we check the um, the data the the web page into the memo so hopefully I've typed all that correctly. And 
all is good. And there's our um, web page, web contents. And it's quite interesting, um, The this web, uh, there's um, the contents of it, they have all this JSON data, which basically I managed to extract and then check into a tjson object. Um, and then it was nice and easy to parse, parse out all the all the data, which is all the stuff on this uh, this line. But anyway, I digress. However, um, let's go back to here, and let's say we now want to download a one of these listings, these real estate listings, and we have the Similarly, we have only the ID. So if I copy that and paste that in, that also automatically redirects us um, to this page. So one might think that for me to download that page, I should be able to just do that. Uh, let's try running that and see what happens. Here we go, click on the button, and eventually we get a not found, 404, which is not what we got when we um, loaded the page in Chrome. So what's going on? Now, it took me a while to work out what the story was, but I'm just going to throw another memo on. So memo 2, and make that nice and wide and there is a on redirect event in here with a destination parameter so I'm just going to add this in and so when the page is redirected we get this event and we can potentially um, handle odd things which is what happens so we get our not found and the reason we get it is we get this url which has no uh we, we want http colon at the beginning of it um why it's not there i'm not sure i suspect the redirection on this website is broken so i'll just copy that but we want to add So I'm going to say if the URL begins with a slash, uh, we're going to add the HTTP on the beginning of it. In fact, let me close that. And let's run this again. And eventually, we get our redirection um, sorted. Oh, and it gets redirected twice because I should probably put an HTTPS in there. So that's our, our first redirection, which we fix. And then we're re redirected to the secure site. Um, that's, this is pretty much all I wanted to show you. Indy is uh, a very powerful library of components, uh, and I use the HTTP component quite often. I'm certainly not an expert in it, but it generally manages to um, handle every, all my needs. The I'm a bit confused because normally you normally have to throw a SSL handler. handler on there to handle SSL, but um, that seemed to work just fine. I'm not quite sure why. So I can write a, a note in the comments. Maybe it's just been upgraded at some point to support SSL automatically. I'm not sure. But anyhow, um, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDaffy.tv. I hope you found this video informative, and I'll catch you in the next one.